So if you did not realise yet, this is going to be a why eat in a day to lose weight. Now I've only been doing this for two months. I know that's quite a long, a long time to leave it to do why eat in a day to lose weight. But I wanted to like get in the swing of it first and then do a video like this. So I use the app my fitness pal i personally think it's a really good app and i really do recommend it you can on the free version i don't have the pro you can get the pro if you want but on the free version you can put it does go off your weight straight away so when you put your weight in and then it totals the calories but you can change the calories you want to put in your body or you want to calculate I do mine as 1,400 um, because they do say that like to lose weight you do 1,500 but I just put down 100 more. Some people might say that unhealthy, some people might say it's healthy. Um, I personally, it works for me like I have three meals in the day and then I can sometimes snack if I feel a bit more hungry and it's not like I'm stopping myself having the foods that I don't want that I want I generally do have the foods that I want it's just knowing the portion size before because that is the problem with me sorry I'm on my DJI and it's like I'm also holding it with my left hand now I've got it in my right hand um but it, I personally think it's really good because it shows you the nutrients in the the food that you're scanning as well because you can scan few food. With the Pro, you can just scan your actual food. But I personally don't see the point in that. Yeah, it probably is quicker. But the free version is better. Like, you don't need the free version. But that is the app that I use to calculate my calories. Um... Between breakfast, what I had this morning, I normally have in the morning, but I can vary from having porridge, that could be banana porridge, um, raspberry and strawberry porridge, loads of different porridges. It's oh so simple that I have. And then the blueberry wheatos I had this morning, them ones are from the co-op, but I normally get them from Tesco's or Asda, I think. Taste the same. I think the co-op ones are less in calories by like 10, 10, 10 calories. Um, but it doesn't really make a difference. I just picked them ones up because I needed some. And then another type of breakfast I can have is toast with jam or toast with peanut butter i normally if i'm having toast in the morning with something i normally don't have the butter or i'll just have butter on my own but personally for me i don't really like just toast and butter so i would just do toast and jam with the out the butter um i don't find it different like if there's no difference um there's no point taking in more calories um and i still have my cups of tea you'll probably see later on i have cups of tea that's for me it's 20 calories all because i have sweeteners and then i have a splash of milk and that's all but i'm going to get ready and i'll catch up with you guys when i have my lunch i got these like little thin pita bread i don't know what they're called like low in calorie bread you you would have seen them before i needed to get the brown bread though of it though because they didn't have the white bread i've never tried the brown version brown bread version of these but i'm sure they'll taste the same i will see you when i'm having my lunch
So this feels really weird. You're actually on my ring light that I've not used for probably over a year. And I really want to start using it more because like, look, I'm actually getting a good angle. I haven't got the light on, this is just natural lighting. But I just wanted to sit down and properly talk because I feel like these types of videos, I've done them in the past. And like, what have, what do I eat in a day and stuff like that. Um, and it's just been balanced, but mostly junk food. <laughs> and now that I've actually found a routine, you would like to say, um, I want to share with you whether it's 20 people who watch me, 50 people who watch this, or just five. I want them people to understand that ev what I'm doing right now probably won't work for you. It didn't work for my past self. I tried the My Fitness app before and it just didn't work for me. I don't know what's changed. I genuinely don't know what's changed. The only way I can see it, say it, is I got on the scales one day. Now, I just want to say, from doing this weight loss, I have I've only lost five pounds, so I'm not going to look so different. But five pounds isn't that much in the scale of things. But the way you look, five pounds can look different on everyone. So what I'm trying to say is that the scale does not matter. But at the end of the day, we all know that we want to measure ourselves and see if we have lost weight. So in this two months journey so far, I've lost five pounds um, from doing this. And literally, it was about a week after my birthday, I just went in the scale and saw the scale number and thought, no, nah, I don't want to be that anymore. And something just changed in me. Literally just changed in me. I don't even know how to word it. So I just, I just had a switch and it switched on. And it was like, no, I want to lose weight. I really want to lose weight this time. I don't want to do the pishy. Let's lose weight and then give up after a two weeks. Because prior from doing this, prior from actually losing weight, I did it twice before and the first time, well, I think it was twice or first, I did it once or twice before and I remember one time I did lose, well, my parents were saying, like, my sister was saying I look like a lost weight and to be honest, I didn't weigh myself then, so, because I wasn't worried for my weight at the time, I was how you would say a healthy weight for my size, for my, how tall I am. I don't know how to word that. So I wasn't worry, worried about it. The reason why I started losing weight is because I just did the natural walking the dog, working out, but also I had a job. Now, people who have jobs may not realize how much you're actually standing up, doing all these things in a day that's actually making you burn calories without you knowing. So me having that job in general made me lose weight. And obviously, I don't have a job right now. Um, and because of that, I need to do more work out or move more on the same kind of level of when I had that job. But also, I've got cerebral palsy. I've got a heart condition as well. So these are not excuses these are reasons so my journey might be different to yours i know this is mainly about the diet but in the future i want to talk about more in depth about losing weight with a disability because i have came to challenges especially with my knees um and it's finding that level of what works for me, works for me, might not work for you. But back to the diet side. First of all, I don't like calling it a diet because I don't feel like I'm on a diet. I'm literally, I've literally not even cut out. 
eating less junk food. I will have a chocolate bar once in a while. What I normally do, I don't always do it, it really depends when I'm hungry. But what I have found is I'm not as hungry in the morning, so I have like a cereal or I will I'll have cereal or I will have porridge or if I am hungrier than normal I will have toast with peanut butter or a light spread of peanut butter or I will have jam. I sometimes also have avocado. Literally I can choose whatever I want. The only difference is, is if I don't need that ingredients I don't have it. So like I said earlier, when I do have toast, set from sandwiches, I don't put butter on it. Obviously put butter on my sandwiches because that would be just really dry. But what I want to say is like if calorie counting doesn't work for you, don't do it. Just honestly for me, it's a portion size and the snacking. Now, some people might probably look at my diet and be like you do snack bro i snack healthier options now that's different so you could have a banana over a chocolate bar you're still snacking but you're picking the healthier option i just wanted to, co to come on and just say like even though i'm showing you what i'm eating in a day it doesn't mean you have to download this app. I will try and put it in the description. But it doesn't mean you have to download this app and do what I'm doing. Because it might not work for you. Like I said, it didn't work for old me, but it works for me now. Um, and I know for a fact, I probably won't always use this, this app. But for now, realising what i like what is better for my body to fuel my body because food at the end of the day is just energy it's just picking the right energy to fuel fuel your body with um but yeah this isn't the end of the vlog i just wanted to come in and just talk to you guys for a bit i am going to do a couple more videos in the future about how i started losing weight what it's like to lose weight with a heart condition and cerebral palsy because believe me it's a struggle especially working out um yeah i hope you are enjoying this vlog so far i'm going to go and edit this vlog so far put a little time lapse of me editing it also and i don't know what else i'm gonna eat don't know what we're having for dinner but I also want to put in, I forgot to say, it's with me, because my I live with my parents, my parents, main, mainly my mum makes our dinner. Um, so I get a choice in the matter, but like it's literally what's in the fridge and it's stuff that I like. I just want to put out there, it's stuff that I like. Um, but anyway, I don't get to choose. Like, I don't make my dinner that makes sense um so the the choices that i get to pick healthy or non-healthy is my breakfast or, or lunch and that's why you will see in this vlog that i'm showing you more of that side because it's literally like what are we having for dinner pizza okay and then making pizza or what we have for dinner spaghetti bolognese but on the side of that calorie counting what i do i normally try and leave around the 600 calories just in case the dinner that we're having is more over 500 calories and can i just put out there before i end this portion of the vlog um, even if I go over my calories, I'm not like, no, panic, panic, panic. I'm just like, okay, tomorrow. Tomorrow's a new day. Before, if I went over my calories, I would feel so guilty. And I think that's what didn't work when I previously did it. But now, I'm just like, okay, today I snacked a little more. 
there's always tomorrow like that's how it works for me but let's carry on with this what i eat in a day to lose weight so i've now had my dinner these are the cal calories here and it did around like over 700 um but it's all about balance and this is why i like choose like lower breakfasts or lower lunches because I know personally that my dinner is the highest calorie of the day. For me it can vary like we we can have a salad one day, jacket potato another day and then we can have food like that or we can order a takeaway. Personally um, we have not ordered takeaway for a while even mcdonald's we we don't really order takeaways that often but that is why i have a balanced diet i would say it's a balanced diet and i feel like with me having it around like uh, 1400 for my calorie thing that calorie count intake if I do go over, I am nearer the 500. So, like I said earlier, that is like the average weight that... I don't know if it's like... A, when I've searched up, it's like the average weight to lose weight. So, I'm like, I'm still at the average weight to lose weight. So, for example, right now, I might have a snack for Love Island because... You just have snacks or drinks when you're like watching a movie and Love Island's an entertaining thing for me. And there's a couple up tonight. Let me know your opinion uh, because this is going up tomorrow. So let me know what you think. But yeah, I'm so excited for it. Um, but for example, I've got... But I've got the like a healthier version snack like i could have my chocolate bar and i am gonna have it at one point but i i have like a healthier snacks and then i have like chocolates and that so once again it's all about balance and some people generally some people who do these going on a cut going losing weight or like fitness gurus that have a general fitness channel they're having like 3,000 calories a day and I'm like what well one how do you fit all that into your mouth because even I would be stuffed um and then there's ones that are like 1,800 like to me that would be an average like nearing 2000 that would be an average before weight loss intake that isn't a losing weight intake for me but it just shows you everyone is different like i might not just be your i'm definitely not a fitness channel but i not i might not be your typical losing weight person but everyone is different on their weight loss journey and i just wanted to end it off there I will be showing you the snack that I'm having, but hope you enjoyed this vlog anyway. And as you could see probably on the My Fitness app, I went over my protein, I went over my fat a tiny bit, uh, like for probably, or not a tiny bit, like 10% or something, um, or 5%. You can make up with that. I generally have days that I don't even normally, I generally have days that I can, it varies from I can go over my fat or protein or sugar um, and then I'll have days that I'm under it. Like that just happens. It just happens on your weight list journey. Like I said, I'm going to explain all this in an upcoming video of how much weight I did weigh and what I'm at now and how did I get there and more in deep more in detail of what i did like obviously this is part of what i did 
but I personally don't feel comfortable right now talking about what weight I'm at. Um, so me just saying I've lost five pounds is the way I'm going for now. But in the future, there may be a video explaining the way I was and the way I am now at that point. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And if you want more like weight loss journey stuff, let me know. I do post more about it on my TikTok and I talk about my weight loss on there. And you can see the transformation on there as well. I might post it on my Instagram. But most likely it's on my TikTok. So go check out my TikTok. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Well there's a snack first. But then it's going to vlog end the vlog. So don't click out. Check my snack. Um.